Hello and welcome to the very favorite day of every semester, which is the Digital Marketers Graduation Celebration, where we talk about the incredible work that our participants and instructors did over the course of this uh, hard fabulous semester together. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, welcoming you and, and talk a little bit about who we have on this call today. My name is Dan Gretsch. I'm the CEO and founder of BizHack Academy and the creator of the How to Find Customers Online and Digital Marketers Edge courses. They're really the product of my own learning journey over seven years distilled into seven weeks. Um, I have a background, as many of you know, in journalism and spent most of my career working in broadcast on radio and TV, as well as in newspapers at the Washington Post, the Miami Herald. And a lot of one of our core values, which we'll be talking about, is to make things simpler for you so that they're easier to understand. And that definitely comes from my journalism history and background. BizHack is incredibly lucky to partner with some of the top small business support organizations in South Florida, we're going to actually be hearing shortly from a representative from the office of the mayor of Daniela Levine Cava, as well as hopefully district uh, one of the district five, the district five commissioner Eileen Higgins, who was the sponsor of the How to Find Customers Online course. We've also won a lot of recognition for our work, a couple of national awards, and we've been accelerated by the Knight Foundation, Goldman Sachs, and the Entrepreneurs Organization. And we're very grateful for the own learning journey that we've been on as we learn how to grow this business and share what we've learned with more business owners like you. Many of you uh, may recall the story of me exercise that we do. Uh, it's a core part of our teaching modality. And so uh, I feel I should need to share a little bit more about me and my story of me. My grandfathers, um, on my father's side was a professional soccer coach. On my mother's side was a teacher at one of the oldest public schools in the country, have given me a legacy of coaching and teaching that I am passing on to you through the digital marketing training that we've done together. And specifically, I'm very inspired by the example set by my mother who had a 35 year Public school, te uh, public school teaching career, teaching art to students in inner city Philadelphia, an underdog subject to underdog students. And it was from her example that I have always, there's been a thread through my whole life where I really am a champion of the underdog. Uh, in, that, in that picture there, you can see me. I was in an inner city Miami school as a young reporter, um, talking to some of the folks in what was quote, a failing elementary school. Uh, which was a beautifully run school and did not deserve an F grade. And now similarly that I am a business owner and consultant and trainer, uh, I choose to train businesses like yours, the small businesses, the solopreneurs, the micro enterprises, the family businesses, the businesses that are the heart and the soul of our economy, but also the underdog in our economy. Our mission, our core purpose is simple. We just want to give you a simpler way to grow so you and your company can thrive. And the way we do that is through our six core values of learn by doing, grow with purpose, create community, be authentic, blameless problem solving, and make it simpler. And I wanted to say a word about the last one. It's our newest core value. It's been there from the beginning, but it's one that we only really recognized recently and Albert Einstein said that the goal should be to make it simpler, but no more. To make things as simple as possible, but no simpler. And that's really what we've tried to do with these courses is we've tried to make things as simple as possible, but no simpler. If we oversimplify marketing as so many marketers try to do, we actually eliminate some of the nuance where so much of the juice really is. Uh, on the other hand, if we try to overcomplicate marketing, like so many marketing agencies try to do, what you end up getting is confused, overwhelmed, and you kind of abdicate marketing. You never want to abdicate marketing. You want to delegate marketing. You don't want to give up on marketing. You always want to be actively engaged with it, but you want to find a technician who can do the technical stuff. That's what Make It Simpler is all about, is we want to give you a simpler playbook for growth. And we hope that we've accomplished that 
Um, I, I'll take a thumbs up if you guys feel like you've uh, learned a simpler approach to marketing over the course of this semester. Yay, thank you for that. So I want to now, uh, enough about us, let's introduce our two cohorts that we're going to be celebrating today. Cohort three of the How to Find Customers Online, the Catchers, and cohort 25 of the Digital Marketers Edge, the Market Masters. Congratulations, guys. Today is all about you. The program is we're going to start with one of our favorite traditions, which is the thank you gifts raffle. Many of you have offered products or services, uh, including our instructors that are signature to your companies. We're going to raffle those off. We're going to also then share case studies of real life campaigns and stories of me from both courses, instructors and students. We're going to take a class photo, so stick around for that. And then we're going to do our graduation certificate ceremony, a BizHacker award winner uh, presentation, our highest award that we offer. And we'll cap it with a special musical surprise. So let's start with one of my favorite traditions, the thank you gift raffle. The idea behind the thank you gift raffle is that all of us are here by virtue of mentors and colleagues and others who have supported our learning journeys over the course of our lives. And during the course, many of you have connected with peers in the program and learned from them. And this is a chance for you to thank them for your their help in your learning journey. So uh, the Small Giants community and Annie Go has given uh, one copy of the book, Small Giants, one of my favorite books of all time, one of the most inspiring books I've read. And the winner is? Lauren Boza. Lauren Boza. Thank you. Metro Mommy Agency and Esther McCann have offered a free consultation. And the winner is? Lilia Posos. And uh, you might be like, who's Lilia Posos? Lilia worked with BizHack for two years and she had her baby uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And so we thought that this would be the perfect gift uh, from the BizHack community to Lilia and her new baby. Speaking of Lauren Bowza and Bowza Brownies, you're gonna get a small box of their delicious brownies. I had them on my birthday. I can tell you they're amazing. And the winner is? Rachel Bauer. All right, Rachel. Lucky you. Uh, Social Blessings and Carlene is going to be offering a $10 Starbucks gift card. And the winner is? Joyce Christensen. Awesome. That'll get you half a cup of coffee. Just kidding. <laughs> um, Jordan Sherman from MNC Communications will give you a one. I, I just read an article about how both Starbucks and uh, Dunkin' Donuts are jacking their prices and getting you less for your stars. So I was just giving a dig uh, at Starbucks for making coffee even more expensive. Jordan Sherman from MNC Communications will do a one hour coaching session on PR. And the winner is? Bridget Bateman. Can you say that again? Bridget Bateman. Bridget Bateman, fantastic. One free hours Pilates group class for Maria Forrest of Forrest Pilates. And the winner is? Consuelo Cicere. Congratulations, Consuelo. I'm a Pilates aficionado. I hope you get a lot out of it. Elite Property Miami LLC and Irene Fernandez, they're going to offer a free strategy session for home buyers, sellers, or real estate investors. And the winner is? Claudia Gonzalez. Emily De Armas is going to offer a fairy godmother copy consult. She is a phenomenal copywriter, works with BizHack on our copy. And the winner is? Beltram Fermin. I feel like this little Buddha that's sitting above your head is like your fairy godmother. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. Um, we're going to talk about the real life campaign presentations, both from the instructors and the participants in the How to Find Customers Online, the Catchers course. Just so you guys know, since you might not be familiar, the, the Catchers course, the How to Find Customers Online course, is a, an introductory course to digital marketing. And the real life campaign that they work on is a business directory listing. BizHack has a business directory. Uh, the other course, the Digital Marketer's Edge is more intensive, more technical, and it's focused on running Facebook and Instagram ads. So these are the catchers. I love it. Uh, what a beautiful set of uh, logos. And the lead instructor, uh, of the, the catchers was Marika Lynch. Marika is actually at the Aspen Institute presentation today uh, in Miami Beach on climate change. So she's not gonna be able to join us, um, but we do have uh, the two marketing coaches who you worked with, 
Tamisha Simone and Emily de Armas. You might notice that Tamisha's last name has changed uh, from the beginning of the course or uh, evolved, been updated, and she's going to share with you a little bit more uh, about her new brand uh, and uh, her journey. And with that, I'd love to hand it over to Tamisha to share a little bit about her story of me. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much, Dan. So I will be really brief, but I think that it's really important as entrepreneurs that we be open and honest with ourselves and we are vulnerable in order to be able to connect with our audience. So as Dan mentioned, the story of me is that I started my business as an entrepreneur, working with entrepreneurs, specifically women entrepreneurs, to help them build their brands online. Um, and I would help them be able to build six and seven figure businesses, help them to establish what they wanted to be known for, help them to establish their social media presence, all the things. But in the middle of that, I realized that I was someone who was struggling to sustain that for myself. And it was very um, frustrating for me because it's like, I know how to do this for other people, but why am I consistently going up and down this roller coaster of emotions trying to maintain it for myself? Um, and then last year, of course, we all got hit by COVID and everybody's brains was all over the place. But last year, in the beginning of last year, I had to then end a 20-year relationship and marriage with who I thought was my soulmate. And at that moment, I, I believe that was the catalyst that kind of triggered a lot of things that was already going on in my life for a very, very long time. And I just kind of pushed it away like, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. Um, but long story short, after basically having a nervous breakdown, I found out that I was diagnosed with adult ADHD. And this is something that I've had all my life, but I've never really acknowledged it or took it seriously because unfortunately, um, it shows it differently for women, and especially as adult women. We tend to mask it and hide it a little bit better. So I was able to get through life, but then this happened and I couldn't get past it anymore. And at that moment is when I realized, of course, as we do all things, Things. We go down the Google rabbit hole looking for information, and I didn't see anybody that looked like me talking about it, talking about how it affects people in the business. A lot of the things I struggled with in my business, I now know is because of my ADHD. So at that moment, I made a complete pivot and shift in my business because I felt like there were so many people struggling to sustain their business, to be consistent, all the things, and they didn't know that they had it. And nobody was really talking about it that looked like me. So I have shifted my focus. Focus. I'm still talking about personal branding, helping people to build their social media, their presence and all of those things. But I'm really putting an emphasis on focusing on people who have ADHD or ADHD like symptoms, visionaries who are geniuses at what they do, but they struggle with these things to bring awareness to this mental health issue and also to help support them with the tools and strategies that they need to create a successful business because it is power. It is it's possible. And the last thing that I want to mention is that an ADHD person is more uh, inclined to become an entrepreneur because of the way our creative brains work. So there's hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs out there that need help and guidance. So that is the story of me. You know, thank you for being so authentic and vulnerable um, with us. Um, guys, please send your love in the chat. Uh, it's not easy, frankly, to, to share uh, such intimate details. Um, and you know, to me, I'm feeling a little bit of goosebumps because I, I think about, you know, when we first met and you were right in the middle, uh, you know, of all of this um, and where you are today and just the incredible journey that you've been on. And I just want to say thank you. And we're very blessed to be on that journey with you. And and thank you for for sharing that with us. That really, it means a lot. And it, guys, the the intimacy and the vulnerability that you each have shown this semester is what really I think inspired Tamisha to feel safe to share that with you now. So thank you again for that. And you know, I'm so excited for this next chapter of your life. Um, and as a some someone who's very distractible and gets uh, <laughs> caught up in bright shiny objects, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Thank you uh, and it, it is really true. Um, sometimes people say that to be a visionary CEO is a diagnosis. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me the platform to share. This is the first time I've actually ever shared about the divorce part. So you guys got first dibs on that story. But thank you so much. 
Thank you so much. I, I did set you up a little bit with the name change, but I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> All right. Uh, well, we we wanted to give um, our, 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 our coaches and instructors a chance to share their personal stories. And so next up is going to be Emily Darmus. Uh, and what I'll say just about Emily is I, uh, like her, am a fellow copywriting nerd uh, who has a media background and then, then has then turned that into kind of a business storytelling practice. And so uh, Emily and I are like very much fellow travelers, have a very similar background and delighted to have you part of the BizHack Instructor family. Um, she's actually one of our newest minted fractional CMOs as well. We just got her a client this week. Uh, so uh, you're... We're all in with you, babe, and we are also excited to hire you to help with some of our own copywriting needs. So uh, you're going to get a lot more of us from here, uh, but uh, the amazing Emily Darmus. No, well, thank you for that. I love being part of the BizHack family, so it's an honor. Um, so when I was um, a little girl and I wanted a new toy, I didn't always get it, but if I wanted a book, it was always a yes. My parents had a policy that I could have as many books as I wanted, and I would test this out. So I remember walking up to the counter at Books and Books with a stack so high that I could barely see over it. And my parents kind of went like, oh, that's a lot of books you got there. <laughs> well, you said I can have as many books as I want. So from a young age, I really uh, loved reading. I still do. And words are powerful. Words have the ability to create entire worlds on a page. And it's something that we use every single day from the thoughts that are running in your head to communicating with other people. And no matter how much marketing might evolve and change, words are at the center of it because communication is at the center of it. Knowing that, I think words can sometimes be tricky for business owners because it can be hard to figure out what to say for somebody else to really get the importance of what you're doing and really understand it, especially for people who are creating new things and new things that are on the market. And I believe that marketing is just as much about convincing others why your product or service matters as it is about convincing yourself. Because when the right words click into place and you have that strong sense of conviction about who you are, what you're doing, why you're doing it, why people need it. That's when the magic happens. That's when we see business results. That's when there's this pep in your step. You just carry yourself differently and it's really palpable. And it all starts with words. And I, it's my honor to be able to facilitate that process for my clients as a copywriter uh, to translate what's in their hearts and minds into words that help them have a bigger impact in the world and ultimately um, spread that benefit throughout the community. You know, thank you so much for, for sharing that. And, um, you know, the transformation that you can achieve through good storytelling, you know, and sometimes it causes people to see themselves for the very first time and realize the why they're doing what they're doing. When you start to dig into you know, why do you run a pest control company? Like that doesn't seem like a fun at all. Uh, there's often like a really profound answer at the bottom of that. So I, I really uh, appreciate you uh, and all the work that you do. Um, I wanted to, uh, Amarellis, you're gonna be up next here. Um, I'm gonna do a, a brief introduction uh, and then you're gonna uh, do your case study. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, so give me one sec, I'll do an intro and then I'll hand it right over to you. Okay. So Amaryllis Sanchez is with Keller Women, uh, ooh. Amaryllis Sanchez is with Keller Williams, Miami Beach, a real estate firm. And Amaryllis's family immigrated to the United States and kind of achieved the American dream of home ownership. And she remembers as a small child of how it felt for her family to own a home. And she has decided to dedicate her career and her professional life to becoming a real estate agent and giving many of the new arrivals that live in South Florida a chance to experience that incredible feeling of having your own home, something that often was not possible in the countries that they come from. Uh, Amaryllis was actually one of two real estate agents that we had in the course. And uh, it was really wonderful to see. Right now, we're in a pretty uh, challenged real estate market in certain parts of the country, uh, the different creative techniques that she's using to stand out from the crowd, the very crowded field of realtors. So welcome, Amaryllis Sanchez. 
Thank you, thank you. Um, my camera was glitching, so unfortunately I can't show my face, but I will be sharing the screen right now. Hold on a second. Can everyone see the screen? Okay, perfect. All right, good day, everyone. And thank you for being here today. Let's dive right in. Growing up, I witnessed firsthand the transformative power of the American dream of home ownership. And it was always been a passion of mine to help others achieve that dream. As a real estate agent at Keller Williams Realty, I serve as a consumer advocate working tirelessly to simplify the home buying and selling journey for my clients. My mission is to empower my clients with knowledge and resources so they can make informed decisions and achieve their American dream. At Keller Williams Realty, we believe everyone deserves a place to call home, and we're offering new clients a $500 home warranty credit when they hire me to represent them. This offer provides our clients with the peace of mind knowing that unexpected problems and repairs will be covered. As an agent, I care about my clients and want to help them save money. In real estate, everyone is a potential client and my ideal client is a young professional millennial who's recently relocated to Miami from Boston. She values a well-maintained community with easy access to shop, restaurants, and entertainment, and her favorite form of communications are Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, podcasts, and blogs. She is trending, stylish, and drawn to visually appealing properties influenced by fashion brands such as Michael Kors and Diane von Bostenberg. To effectively market my target audience, I have created a mood board of compelling messages and designed a video ad featuring someone up north, they're stressed about moving to a new city and finding comfort in my real estate services. Before posting any ads on social media, I plan on making out a marketing campaign that includes A and B testing with both video and image formats. The pink highlights the objective of each step and the yellow highlights are the game points of each step. My biggest aha was creating a persona pair that has helped me speed up my content creation tenfold. Um, I also learned the band, a brand strategy deck will show others the direction and tone of my brand when I partner up with nonprofits and local businesses. And writing out my story has helped me remember why I'm in real estate to begin with. Helping people achieve their American dream is an honor. Through the Biz Has course, I've gained a clear vision for building my brand using persona-driven marketing strategies, analytic tools, and strategic partnership with nearby businesses and nonprofits. In conclusion, as a real estate agent, my purpose is to help people achieve their dream, American dream of home ownership, and I am committed to simplifying the home buying and selling journey for my clients. Thank you for your time and attention today. And this was my case study from what I learned throughout the six weeks. Thank you. And Excellent. Thank you. Great job. Um, awesome. You know, it's just so amazing what can be accomplished in such a short amount of time when you bring together uh, someone who's really motivated like you. And um, is the environment right now, Amaryllis, pretty challenged in terms of uh, real estate uh, for you like it is for some? Um, yes, I've definitely experienced some challenges this past year. I mean, during COVID, the market was insane, busy, and now it's definitely taken a dive, but there's still people moving into the city, you know, there's a lot more opportunities out there. So it's just, it's just keeping pushing through. Yeah, you know, it's really, whenever you're in a recessionary setting, um, 
a lot of the pretenders and the folks that were just basically order takers will fall away. Uh, and the folks that are real professionals who put a lot of emphasis on business development and do all the right things will actually end up getting more market share. And then when the uh, real estate market comes back and one of the rules of thumb of South Florida is the real estate market will come back, you'll uh, be in an even better position to take more than your fair share of it. So keep at it. It's going to be rough for a little while while they keep raising interest rates. But South Florida is going to remain a place where people are going to want to move. Uh, and you're going to be right at the center of that. Absolutely. Um, Thank you so much. You're welcome. So uh, I'm going to do a quick intro now of Maria Forrest, and then I'll stop sharing my screen, and Maria, you'll be up. So Maria Forrest is the founder of Forrest Pilates, and like so many people who are in the Pilates industry, she actually had a corporate career that was then uh, had a transformative impact on her life. Uh, Pilates uh, changed her life and she realized that she wanted to dedicate the rest of her career uh, of introducing that methodology and that modality and that change uh, both in mind and body to other people. And so uh, Maria Forrest of uh, Forrest Pilates, we know uh, running a Pilates studio is not easy. It's a modality that isn't familiar to certain people. Uh, but it is an incredibly powerful healing practice, and you are a healing practitioner. Uh, welcome and, and congratulations on being one of the presenters. Thank you. Let me thank you so much, Dan. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so um. Basically, I was born and raised in Miami. My parents uh, were exiled from Cuba when they were uh, 17 years old. Uh, basically, the government took everything that they owned. And uh, basically, Fidel says, if you don't like it, you can leave. And they did. <laughs> um, when I was a teenager, fresh out of high school, I uh, started to work in the corporate world, fresh out of high school. And there, I was lucky enough to meet some really strong um women who became, uh, some of them became my mentors. I admired these these women and I learned so much from them. Um, there in the corporate world, I met the father of my kids. Uh, at some point I realized that I had everything a woman can ever want for themselves. I uh, had a great husband, two beautiful daughters, a nice home, a flourishing um, home business. And yet for some reason I felt empty and unfulfilled. Um, I did not recognize the woman at some point in, in my uh, life. I did not recognize the woman that I saw in the mirror every day. I used wine. I used food. <laughs> I used the TV and any distraction, really, not to feel how I was feeling, um, even though on the outside, my life looked really good. Um, I felt lost and um, for such a long time, and I eventually uh, shut down. Um, Along this journey, I found some really great tools and new men mentors uh, to help me navigate through this dark night of the soul. I Happiness, I learned, is an inside job. Um, it has nothing to do I, with stuff that's outside of us, which is what we're taught and we're conditioned, right? That the car, the husband, the kids, like it's like, okay. It, so the inside job of finding that happiness is the journey that I had to go on. I, I learned how to connect back to myself again. And I realized um, that everything I've ever wanted is within myself. I believe that when we abandon ourselves and look outside for happiness, this separation from self is what creates the internal suffering. Um, I'm Maria Forrest from Forrest Pilates and uh, our purpose is to support, guide, and teach healthy, conscious men and women who are seeking uh, to live a more fulfilling life. So um, what I basically do is help people to live their best life. Um, I do have tools. My Basically, the, the story of me has obviously shifted. I've been in business for 20 years. What I started out with, I'm only going to show two slides. Actually, this was the story of me. Sorry, I should have been on this one. Um, I went from you know just teaching Pilates right now. Um, within the 20 years, I've uh, mastered in movement, mind-body movement, 
um, and nutrition. And, I re and I've noticed throughout the years that for permanent change, the three have to go hand in hand because you can eat really good and exercise every day, but if you're not taking care of what's eating you, you're not going to thrive because you still have to, um, you know, like I said, go within and, and address those things that are not uh, keeping your mindset in a good place. Um, the offer that I that I came up with was basically a one on one uh, working with someone that would want to incorporate those three things, mindset, nutrition and um, and movement. Uh, my ideal customer is someone who is high end. Um, usually it's women, wealthy women or business women. They're either retired or they're, um, you know, they're, they're per professional women um, who have their own business and they love to take care of themselves. They are very mindful of growing, you know, not just physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Um, so this is basically my experience is that everyone pretty much now, especially after what we've been through in the last three years, is that we have most people are, you know, experiencing high levels of stress, uh, poor diet, uh, improper sleep, uh, trauma. You know, so every, maybe some people have post-traumatic stress. Anybody who's experienced divorce with their parents, any type of experience that might have, even just these past three years, a lot of people are, are you know, th there's this heaviness that people are holding on to because it was very trauma, especially if they lost someone, you know, any type of loss. Um, negative thought patterns, lack of regular exercise, inflammation, immune imbalances is very, very, very popular now, unfortunately. Inflammation in the body, um, and digestive problems is very, uh, prominent now and toxic ex exposures where we don't realize all the stuff that th we buy from the stores, how toxic it is. And sometimes, you know, even the water that we drink because it's bottled, we think it's healthy. Uh, so anyways, the other thing is that more people now are searching for more meaning and purpose in their life. And that's what I specialize in, you know, helping people get from that heaviness of life into, really going within themselves and giving them the tools that they need so that they can create a better life for themselves and not a life of suffering or struggling or, you know, coasting or pushing through, right, through all of the the things in life that we have to endure now. So um, basically, my customer journey is going to have a landing page and they either book it or at least we get their contact info. Pretty simple. Um, what I love most about the uh, course is th there's many nuggets. I loved uh, my coach. She was amazing. She's uh, I bond with her. I, I connect with her um, really well. And uh, I do have a plan now to, to run the ads that I came up with. I actually came up with three so since I was so motivated, uh, not just one. And um, if I had to pick one thing, the story of me, I thought was pretty cool. Usually it's like, you know, the why, and it's like so impersonal. So I liked uh, the way you guys teach it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then what's next for me is I'm going to run these ads. I'm going to do more collaboration and cross-promoting with like-minded businesses and offer monthly talks in nutrition, mental health, and exercise um, and hire more staff. Oh, I guess that's it. Thank you for listening. Thanks so much for the opportunity. <laughs> um, phenomenal job. You know, I have a partnership with... Um, I've, worked, I've done work with the Pilates Method Alliance, and I've also done work with Polestar Pilates, which is a big Pilates education company. And Maria, you're so rare, honestly, and so welcome uh, to have a um, kind of business savvy uh, Pilates owner. Um, so many Pilates studios, and I, I don't say this to be denigrating, I'm just being very descriptive of what I found, uh, are really running it as a hobby. Thank you. Um, and it's just really beautiful to see someone with such um, serious mindedness, a corporate background, who's willing to take the time to educate herself um, and uh, and who's taking it to new heights and bringing this incredible modality to more people. We, we honestly just need more people in the industry like you. Um, with your permission, I'd love to share this uh, with my, my partners at the PMA and especially at Polestar, just so they're uh, aware of the great work you're doing, if that's okay. Yeah, that'd be great. 
All right. We actually have a course that we do with them uh, that is um, kind of a, a deeper dive, but similar to what you just did. Um, and so um, the fact that we have a similar curriculum and that you've gone through it and gotten so much out of it actually uh, might even be a great kind of case study or uh, testimonial that we could use as we're trying to bring this to others as they professionalize their marketing. Sure. That'd be great. Um, Amazing. Well, I love making these kind of personal connections with you guys and the and the work that you're doing um, and uh, supporting uh, you in your learning journeys, but also uh, you can help support others in theirs. Um, I wanted to share just a kind of a few numbers uh, from the course. Um, so BizHack has trained more than 4,474 businesses since our founding in 2017. 947 of you have gone through our intense training programs and received a digital ninja certification. And the average return on investment in the Digital Marketers Edge course over the course of the last three years has been $29 in incremental revenue for $1 in ad spend. So we call this an earn while you learn course and a course that pays for itself. And we think of that as our irresistible offer, that if you follow the methodologies that we recommend, you will make more money. We also have a masterclass series that we run in partnership with the office of the Miami-Dade mayor. And we've had 75 of these masterclasses that we've run since 2020. We've been recognized with three national awards for our work during COVID and helping small businesses for those. And we're also partnered with the South Florida PBS station. We also give out uh, scholarship funds to minority and women-owned businesses, to BIPOC and women-owned businesses. And we've given out nearly $300,000 in uh, course discounts to 137 businesses. Many of you are beneficiaries of some of those scholarships. Um, you know, the a lot we, we love giving two for ones where we bring the owner uh, and one of their marketing coordinators. That's an example of a scholarship. We really want to make it easier for you to say yes and to go on this learning journey with us. Because we know in the end, there's obviously the money you invest, but even more importantly, it's the time. Time is your pre most precious resource as a business owner. And that's what we ask of all of you. So without further ado, we're going to now talk. Um, Actually, uh, yeah, we're going to now talk about the Digital Marketer's Edge, uh, the Market Masters. And these are the Market Masters. Swift Sourcing, Acrotech Coatings, Back Office Betty's, Mexico City Tacos. You're going to be hearing from a number of these folks, uh, the delicious Booza Brownies. Our lead instructor is the amazing Carlene Scarlett of Social Blessings. And our marketing coaches are Jordan Sherman of MNC and Julius Harper of J Sharp Consulting. And thank you guys for the work that you've done. I wanna now hand the floor over to our instructors. Each of them are gonna share their personal stories of me, starting with Carlene. Hey guys, thanks Dan. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for having me. Awesome job to um, cohort uh, 25 for the Digital Marketing Edge course. And also the other young ladies that just presented as well with the Thought Leadership course. You guys did amazing. So um, quick background about me. I'm currently in Scarlet. Uh, born and raised right here in South Florida. I have not left. So I am um, a native Floridian, actually fifth generation Floridian. And um, I love all things digital marketing, but especially social media marketing when it comes to elevating brands and businesses on Facebook advertising um, in particular, Facebook and Instagram advertising, I really love, but I also manage and execute ads on platforms like Twitter, LinkedIn, as well as TikTok recently. And um, so a quick story about me, I actually became, um, a digital marketing instructor because I realized that there was definitely a need in this field to help businesses not only navigate the platforms of social media marketing and ads, but also be able to coach those that kind of just fell into this career field because um, social media marketing is, is very new. Digital marketing is still new. You know, it's, a, it's under a, a 20 year brand. So it's still like a young adult, <laughs> a young adult industry to be a part of uh, 
as far as age goes to um, kind of be a part of. So um, I started specializing in one-on-one -on -one coaching and that's where I came up with my agency called Social Blessings, LLC. And uh, I work with small businesses, nonprofits right here in South Florida. I sit on a lot of boards for um, nonprofits in Fort Lauderdale. I also used to be a part of Leadership Broward for about five years. And I have a passion for volunteering as well as purpose-driven brands, just like uh, part of the BizHacks mission. You know, I want to work with very purpose-driven brands, and that was kind of my goal and my mission when I started my business about five years ago. And uh, I really love working with folks one-on-one -on -one and in a group setting to really give them the lay of the land, because um, uh, it may be intimidating at first. I'm sure my, my students can attest to this, but once you get the hang of it, um, it's really simple and easy to execute one of a, a social media ad, especially on Facebook. When you get into the platform and you actually are able to um, work really hard and put together your targeting and see some results from your advertising dollars spent, it's very exciting. And that's kind of where I get my thrill from uh, to continue this work. So I'm really excited to be a part of here, be a part of the program. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody shine on social media, as well as seeing their ads on my feed very soon in the future as well. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. You know, um, I'm getting a little bit of a feedback loop, Carlene, uh, if you could just mute yourself. But thank you so much, Carlene. You know, we've been so thrilled to have you as part of the mix and uh, really appreciate everything that you've done. Um, I wanted to bring Jordan Sherman up to the stage. Uh, Jordan is a BizHack alumnus who uh, leveraged this for his own work in PR for at MNC and um, he was a standout. And for a couple of years now, we've been waiting for an opportunity for his schedule and ours to align and they finally did. And, you know, Jordan, you've been everything and more that we hoped for. So I would love for you to, to share with us your story of me. Yeah, and thank you so much, Stan. And um, uh, hi, everybody. Good morning here from um, Denver. <laughs> I know it's afternoon for most of you out there on the uh, East Coast, but uh, I'm so glad to see everybody here today. Um, and I'm so proud of everybody that's graduating too. It's um, it's a lot of work that everyone has put in between the two courses, and you should feel very proud of yourselves. Um, but uh, more, a little bit more about the story of me is I have a very unique background as well. Um, now working in public relations, but I, I started in media, and it kind of goes all the way back to when I was a little kid. Um, uh, I used to love watching the Weather Channel. Like most kids watched cartoons, I was tuning to the Weather Channel. To the point where my mom was like, is, there, is he okay? Like <laughs> talking with her friends. Is it normal for my son to be watching the Weather Channel? Um, I did watch a lot of cartoons too, by the way. Um, but I just, I was obsessed with weather. Um, and as I grew up, I realized um, why I like the weather so much. And that's because broadcast meteorologists um, have this purpose where they're serving their community, right? You, you wake up in the morning, you turn on the news, you're watching uh, the weather to try and plan your day or plan your weekend or whatever the case may be. I wanted to be that person. I wanted to help people and, and combine kind of that, that passion for helping with my love for the weather. So that's what I did. Um, I went to college, got my uh, ba uh, bachelor's of science in atmospheric sciences, uh, four cities and eight years later, um, TV was really burning me out. Um, but it wasn't all doom and gloom. Uh, I realized you know pretty quickly that I don't need to be in TV to, you know, kind of uh, keep this passion going of helping people. So I started to do some networking um, and eventually happened upon um, an agency where I still work, um, MNC Communications. And everybody at the agency were also former um, television media journalists, some of them on air, some of them off air. So it's pretty easy to connect. Um, and eventually when they had an opening, I applied and uh, got the job. Now, that was right, um, right before the world kind of paused in 2020. So it was one heck of a time to get out of news, I'll tell you that, because a lot of my friends that are still in news um, got put through the ringer when COVID hit, um, and it was, it was not going to be a fun time to still be in news. So I was really thankful um, to be out, but um, joining that agency really reignited my passion, and it was, it was so much fun because all of our clients um, basically give us a blank canvas, um, and in that canvas, we have a lot of creative freedom 
to basically paint whatever we can to um, better tell their story through the lens of public relations outreach and help them tell their story. So I was still able to dive into that passion. So to put it mildly, we do a whole heck of a lot more than write press releases, <laughs> uh, which is why I love it so much. Um, what was really cool is, you know, through that course in 2020, Dan alluded to it earlier, you know, uh, the pandemic or something like the pandemic, um, pretenders kind of fall off um, and contenders step up. And we really invested in ourselves during that point in time. Um, we're introduced to Dan and BizHack, took the course, absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and learned a, a new skill that uh, we were able to apply to us and also uh, offer to our clients, which is really awesome. Um, so when Dan approached me, and we've been trying to work this out for a couple of years now, um, to be a, a marketing coach for uh, Digital Marketers Edge, I mean, it was an absolute no-brainer. So I, I'm really incredibly humbled um, and proud to take this unique skill set that I've, I've been able to develop over my professional career and apply it not only to our clients, uh, to, but to BizHack's clients too, because both MNC and BizHack have these core values that align so much with mine and that, that it makes it so much fun, uh, you know, to wake up and go to work in the morning and jump on and participate in classes and teach labs during the afternoons. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. thank you for that. And I, I too feel really aligned with everything that you uh, you guys do at MNC. And uh, you're uh, based in Denver, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my wife is from Denver and uh, I, I'd love to meet up uh, in person next time we're there. Sounds great. Um, finally, the another new member to the BizHack family and our teaching team is Julius Harper. And Julius comes with an incredible pedigree, he works as a digital marketer with an e-commerce specialty at FedEx. And um, oftentimes, uh, but he also has an incredible teaching pedigree and just a, a really proven dedication for working with us small businesses. And so Julius, I uh, wanted for you to get a chance to introduce yourself to the community and, and share a little bit more about your background. Yeah, yeah, uh, thank you, Dan. Um, thank you, everyone, I'm Julius Harper. Um, and it's a pleasure, it's been a great ride with um, being a coach here. And um, I'm excited to keep doing this and helping out everyone um, throughout this time. So. A little bit about me, um, I actually started my um, career out as a, a graphic designer, web designer, um, was in a creative field for a very long time. And um, that was my entry into um, where I am now in the digital marketing space, um, marketing. Uh, I saw the change back then when I was younger uh, in my career and saw that there was a change happening in the world where digital was becoming the first thing that people will interact with businesses. Um, and then just a little bit about my background, uh, my parents were both entrepreneurs, right? They were small business owners here in Texas where I live. Um, and it was just incredible to see my mom run a, a whole construction company um, and my dad do various jobs just to keep ends meet, which that is the passion behind, the reason why I have such a passion for helping out small business owners. Um, and so as I grew into my career, how could I do that? Well, the first thing is, for one, I'm, I'm a creative thinker. That's where the creativity comes from. Um, but also being able to have this 15 years experience working with so many different brands from FedEx right now, what I'm doing currently with e-commerce. Um, and even, even in that lane, I'm actually helping customers who are small business owners. So everything I do um, is about helping and giving back and serving um, the small business whether that is someone that looks like me or anyone that's in the underserved community, that's really my passion. And, and that's the reason why I'm here. And I look forward to continually doing that with you all um, and throughout with BizHack. So congratulations to all of the graduates um, and keep striving to grow your businesses and yourselves. Perfect, thank you. And um, forgive me, but if you wouldn't mind, I, I was just having a slight technical difficulty. Would you mind just saying your quick introducing, introducing yourself, your name, you know, your work, and just uh, the the first kind of two or three sentences. Uh, we had, I had a little yeah. video. No, 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 no problems. Yeah, Julius Harper here again, and my my uh, my career is graphic design, web design, um, digital marketing, all that stuff. But the my actual company that I run is J Sharp Consult Consulting, where we actually help out businesses to grow um, by consulting services from um, coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, to all the way to just working with executing on social media, 
um, SEO, you name it, we, we help out in that area. Um, and so I usually take on, you know, average to 10 to 20 clients a year um, because I try to get ones that I can really work with for a long time period. And so that's really my goal um, because like I said, I want to give back to those small business owners that really can use, um, need the help or use the help of someone that has my expertise. Um, so that is, is that a good that, stance that they work? Okay. The story of me times two. Uh, all right. Uh, next up is, thank you for that very much. Uh, next up is going to be Rachel Bauer. Uh, Rachel, I'll do a quick intro uh, of you uh, and then hand you over, I'll hand it over to you. Um, Rachel Bauer works with Back Office Betty's. Back Office Betty's is a firm that focuses on placing virtual assistant talent in different businesses. They're incredibly well branded. They have a really exciting visual imagery. And Rachel is the person in charge of bringing that uh, fun and Betty's spirit to the world through her work as a marketing coordinator. Rachel is also one of our fractional CMO clients, Back Office Betty's. We're working with them as their part-time outsourced head of marketing. In fact, Emily, who is on the call right now, is that fractional CMO for them. What we're doing with them is we're helping build the overall strategy, leadership, and accountability to help make Rachel as successful as possible. And as part of the work we're doing together leveling her up, giving her uh, new skills, and also training her in the lead building system methodology is a big part of how we achieve that. So uh, without further ado, the amazing Rachel Bauer from Back Office Betty's. All right, so let me go ahead and share my screen here. All right, so I will just jump right in. So back office Betty's founder and CEO, Emily LaRouche, always knew she wanted to be an entrepreneur, but she never thought she had a specific calling. Uh, one day in late 2013, while on a break at her then bank job, Emily was making a bunch of calls trying to line up home services for her house. And to her surprise, more often than not, these companies were just not answering their phones. And she thought to herself, you know, I could help out these local mom and pop businesses because I can answer a phone like nobody's business. And this would have a really powerful impact on their success. So just like that, she realized that she had found her specific calling, supporting passionate entrepreneurs and small businesses. And with that realization, she founded Back Office Betty's in 2014. However, as our client list grew, Emily knew that our team would not be able to maintain a high level of industry knowledge without specializing. So she asked herself and our team the following questions. Who can we serve best? Who are we providing the most value to? And who do we like serving the most? And the answer was clear, law firms. So the company directed all focus to meeting the specific needs of attorney entrepreneurs, and the rest is history. So Back Office Betty's core purpose is to empower passionate attorneys to find work-life balance while growing their small law firms into thriving businesses. All right, so our campaign objective was awareness and lead generation. We did two ads. Our target audience was attorneys just living in the US, age 30 to 55. And our irresistible offer was a free discovery call with our growth solution strategist. So here is our thumb stopping video and our compelling message. And for our call to action, we used a form inside of Facebook. Here is a quick map of our customer journey. The lead will see the Facebook awareness ad and then the lead generation ad. They'll receive an email from sales to schedule their free discovery call. And they will either schedule that call or be moved into our email trip. And after the call, they'll either begin a free trial with us or also be moved into that email trip for more nurturing. 
So here are the results from the first ad, the awareness ad. We had 4,625 impressions, 3,903 three-second video plays, and 3,489 group plays. These are the results from our lead generation ad. We had 2,432 impressions, 24 link clicks, but we did not get any leads or sales from this specific ad. So I learned how to do these things in Facebook Ad Manager, create audiences and custom retargeting audiences, create and launch various types of ads, create custom reports for ad performance. And we also did verify that Facebook is not the best place to target our audience uh, based on interests and demographics since it is so specific. And next for me and back office buddies, we will now be able to manage our ad agency more effectively and apply the principles that I learned in this class to LinkedIn ads. And that is all. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much for that. That was fantastic, Rachel. Um, how do you um, how do you think that this will really help you? Uh, in your work moving forward. Um, you know, you came in a pretty experienced marketer. You've done beautiful work. Uh, I love your branding and the visuals on your website and the messaging is really sharp. Um, how do you think this will help you elevate your work? So I had never done um, advertising before. Um, and it was really, really helpful to be able to just go in and get my hands dirty without being scared of messing everything up. Um, and now also having the firsthand experience, it'll be a lot easier for me to manage the ad agency that we use. I can understand exactly what they're talking about and I can give them better guidance as well. So. That's great. Well, I'm so glad that you found it useful and, and uh, we really look forward uh, to you and Emily and the whole team working, continuing our work together. Thank you. So let me. Um, I do see, while I'm uh, calling up my screen, um, Alexina, I, I see that you're here, and I know at around 1.30, the commissioner might have be arriving. Do you have an update on that? Are you going to be uh, presenting on her behalf, or what the update is there? Okay. I'll get an answer to that shortly, but uh, I don't want to... Esther, you're going to be up next. And uh, Danilo Esther is one of our strivers, uh, really excited to have her here. Um, so I'll do a quick introduction here uh, of Esther McCant, and then Esther, you'll share your screen and do yours. Um, it's a real special treat to introduce Esther McCant of Metro Mommy Agency. Her passion and love for helping women of color have a safe place to have birth is why she started the Metro Mommy Agency. And uh, we're so excited to share uh, her incredible work with you and with more moms around. Um, she took this course so she could not only ensure that her company was visible, uh, but that she could bring back strategies to support the different organizations and collaborations she's created over the years. So she uh, has a very active plan to not only use this to grow her own business, but to pay it forward and share some of what you learned with others. Uh, and that's music to our ears. And if there's anything we can ever do to help you in sharing this knowledge, please let us know. Without further ado, Esther McCant of Metro Mommy Agency. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined us today. I want to give a very special thank you to our um, sponsor uh, for the folks at the office of the mayor for supporting us to be a part of this program, all of the coaches who I've thanked already. Um, I cannot stress to you enough how wonderful it's been to work with you all. Um, I am going to go ahead and share my screen here this way and we'll go ahead and get started. What I'll be sharing with you today as a market master is my Medicaid client doula awareness campaign. Um, so let's get started. Ab Ooh, wow, sorry. Advocacy through education runs in my blood. 
Every single day, I saw my dad help Haitian immigrants navigate their lives and understand their rights as future citizens in the United States. And as a 4th of July baby native to Miami, I didn't realize that I needed to advocate for myself until my first pregnancy when I felt unsafe with my option to birth in a hospital setting. It was then that I was forced to travel from Alabama to Chattanooga, Tennessee. I desperately wanted to exercise my innate need to choose what is best for myself and my baby. But I realized then that I needed to assist other pregnant women achieve safe and optimal birthing experiences. I believe that the more educated and informed the decision-making is, the louder the voice of the birthing person and the better and more enjoyable the birthing experience. I'm Esther McCann from Metro Mommy Agency. And our purpose is to empower women with education so they make healthier decisions and birth babies with confidence. At Metro Mommy Agency, our mission is to influence, enlighten, and serve women with support and education to navigate through their journey into motherhood and become healthy contributors to the wellness of their society. And for almost 18 years, I've been actively getting results, including low C-section rates, high vaginal births, zero maternal deaths, mentoring 27 new doulas, collaborating and getting visible within the South Florida community, um, even being featured on Good Morning America, and facilitating conversations with stakeholders and partnering with organizations that work with the demographic that I was targeting through this ad. My audience, I realized that if I looked at my clientele, it really did include Medicaid clients who have similar interests as my non-Medicaid clients, which made it kind of a challenge to select the interest. So I focused on including neighborhoods that are predominantly known to have adverse birth outcomes and high Medicaid populations. Some of those include cities like North Miami Beach, North Miami, Miami Gardens, Opalaka, and the Overtown area. The video that was used uh, to provide compelling message was focused on educating women of color, so letting them know that birth doesn't have to be traumatic, um, and was offering a positive source of information and support. I used calm music, chill hop music was important to me, um, and also a caption to include the call to action, which was to always book a consultation. In those consultations, I offer some value and get an idea of expectations and also clarify my role as a doula because it's often confused as a midwife. My customer journey was something I looked at very much so before this course, but even more with some more um, focus on how I would allow these ads to change my current journey. And so right now, when folks come to uh, the ad, they are led to my landing page at Metro Mommy Agency. They select that book a doula link, um, and they are given an option now in a form upgrade due to this class uh, on what payment type they're going to use to pay for the service. Then they're redirected to a thank you page where they can schedule an appointment with me. Um, and during that appointment, it's about 30 minutes, we go through the consultation. And hopefully and usually, I want to say about 50% of the time, most folks do move forward with purchasing a service. So my results during a, a very short time, I, I actually had about six days, um, I noticed some changes on my website. Uh, before running the ad, I would have about five visitors to my website through Facebook traffic. Um, and the week that I launched the ad, I actually had about 32 visitors through Facebook traffic, traffic according to my WordPress analytics. My ad budget was $75. I had uh, 2,975 impressions, uh, 2,603 plays with an 87% uh, three-second video plays. Um, and I found that I only spent about $28.81 per thousand three-second video plays. And there were about 2,398 through plays. Um, and I also saw a high percentage of that through praise as well. So my learnings, I learned a lot. Um, and what I really needed to lean into was my team support. Um, thankfully, through some funding, I have, ah, I'm so grateful. I have a systems and operations manager who's helping me to look at all of this um, and all of my processes. I have a program coordinator and the community engagement strategist and interns that I'll be enlisting to help us um, navigate our marketing strategy. 
and also marketing processes to maximize the use of active campaign forms and lead pages and using my automations more is something I found would be of value. Um, so making sure budgeting moving forward, I'm setting dollars aside for this, um, including continuing my work with uh, a marketing firm uh, called Flourish Media. What's next for me is to continue training doulas um, because the goal is for them to provide direct services as I continue to provide programmatic support, consulting work um, on some bigger, bigger projects um, and continue my mentorship program, actually promote myself more on social media. A lot of it has been, hey, here's what's going on in my life. Here's what's going on with my kids. Um, and then also promote events that will improve education and also more importantly for me is to utilize what I've learned to collaborate more with other maternal health organizations who may struggle with visibility using these strategies um, and doing some coordinated campaign efforts together. So thank you so much again to the whole team and I'm really grateful for this opportunity. Have a good day. Great job. <laughs> that was awesome. You know, it's it's interesting. Um, you really can see in these presentations all the different stages of the learning journey that our entrepreneurs are in. And uh, that was one of the more sophisticated presentations I've ever seen. So congratulations. Uh, you're, you're probably ahead of biz hack in your marketing. Um, but I'm really glad that you're kind of pushing it to the next level. And for those of you who uh, aren't there yet, uh, I think in Esther, you can see real inspiration of what kind of a more sophisticated and advanced small business marketing can look and sound like. Congratulations for that. Uh, and you do us real proud. Uh, you know, we have a, a representative of the mayor's office, Danilo, who's going to be speaking in a few minutes. And uh, you're obviously uh, a beneficiary of the work that he does. And we really appreciate him and the mayor for all that they do. So without further ado, we have one more uh, presentation, with his, which is uh, last but not least is Jamie Swift. Jamie, I'm going to do a quick introduction. I've had the pleasure of meeting you and your brother a couple times. And, and then um, I do see that we have Anna Montez from the commissioner's office. So Anna, you'll be on stage very shortly, just giving you a quick heads up about that. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce Jamie Swift of Swift Sourcing. Swift Sourcing is a company that does promotional products. So, you know, branded mugs and tchotchkes that you might give out as a company, but there's so much more than that. Jamie and her brother, Brian, are the incredible business owners and inheritors of a business that started by their dad and that they're now taking into the 21st century. And Jamie is emerging as a leader on the marketing side of this and has been a, an extraordinary, hardworking, dedicated and committed uh, marketer in training, digital ninja in training. And uh, it's interesting, you know, this is a spectacular presentation, but Jamie was reluctant uh, to give it uh, to you all. And I think what I hope you know from us and from this, Jamie, is that you are spectacular uh, and that you are uh, in the middle of a really transformative career and life experience and BizHack is honored to be a part of it. And we're so glad that we have uh, gotten you to uh, force you out of your shell a little bit and, 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 and just talk about the brilliance that you share. Um, so with that, I would love to introduce Jamie Swift of Swift Sourcing. Uh, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, let's see. This one. And this one. Okay. Can you guys see it? That's always the first struggle. Okay. You got it. And just go to All the right. first. Yep. Okay. It's the first struggle. Um, so first, I just want to thank everyone. I want to thank Dan for creating, um, for Dan and his partners for creating this content and for creating this program. It's been very, very helpful for me to understand how digital marketing works. I didn't understand anything at first. Um, I also want to thank our teachers, Carleen, Julius, Jordan, um, you know, our coaches and teacher, like really appreciate you all support. For me, I didn't know anything. So this has been a lot. It's been a lot of hard work. 
Um, I'm also grateful to all of our classmates as well. Everyone's been really supportive and just really wonderful. Um, I am a very uh, non-attention, like super nervous human. So I really was apprehensive about this, but I realized this is how you grow. This is how you become better. So I'm going to do my best. <laughs> and um, and I hope you guys um, enjoy or at least learn something about our company. So um, with that being said, I own Swift Sourcing with my brother, Brian. He's my older brother, by the way, in case anyone wanted to know. And it is a family-owned business. So here is my presentation. All right. So Swift, um, Swift Sourcing, it was founded by our dad, aka our fearless leader. And it was founded in 1969. Our dad has been an entrepreneur his whole life. There's a little picture of him as a little boy. He was literally selling things not long after this picture. He would have a mail order business. When he was a kid, he would make stuff out of wood in my grandma's basement, like these little wooden earrings that are TS for Tiny Swift. And he would sell them. As he got older, him and his fraternity brothers started a business in 1969, and they started making things, traveling the country, going to conventions, and my dad started doing it full time. And that's actually how he raised us, is he would go to conventions, sell things, sell to organizations, sell to sororities and fraternities. And um, as you can see here, here's some pictures throughout uh, time. There, there's me right there, the little one, but you can't really see. I have an interesting do. And uh, there's my brother, and there's my dad. Um, and then here's my dad again at a show, and then my brother and I um, but anyways, when my brother and I were little, we used to watch our dad I'm like, wow, this is so cool. People loved his product. He worked really hard. We want to do this when we get older. And we said this around seven and 11. So when we got to be adults, we actually followed through with it. And today we've grown our business into a multi-million dollar business. And we have an office in the Philippines and we're just really trying to continue growing that process, which just led us to BizHack. Um, so I'm going to move on. Um, so anyway, this process was really cool for me because I realized that there's a method to it. And that makes me feel a lot more comfortable knowing that there's actual steps because I didn't really understand how digital marketing worked at all. It was just very overwhelming. So the first part of it is the, um, I did the first ad, which is video views and awareness. And our target audience is primarily people who are in like HR, or um, marketing, or who, basically people who work at big corporations that get a lot of these products. And our focus is really employee engagement. So anyone deals, anyone who deals with the employees is really our focus. So our free irresistible offer is a free custom spec sample with the logo on it. And the reason we did this is because typically when people see an item with their logo on it or with the company logo on it, if it's something really cool, they're more likely to buy it. And it also gives them an interaction with us. And it also just starts the conversation. So next I have our video. And um, in this video, actually, I wanted to show you guys the, yeah, I was trying to put the, put it in the chat so you all could see it. Let's see. If you all want to watch it, you can. But basically in it, I just say that Swift Sourcing is a second generation sibling owned promotional product company. And I talk about the fact that we are, um, our focus is employee engagement and anything that really helps people retain their employees. So usually it's it's companies, typically larger companies, but we can work with companies of all sizes. And again, it shows our, um, our free item with branded product. And here you claim your free sample. Next is the customer journey map, which I thought also was really cool. I didn't even know about customer journey maps. So this was really interesting to me. So basically it starts with the awareness ad. And if they say yes, or if they say no, it goes on to the next, like if they say no, then they kind of get retargeted. And if they say no again, then we, we keep on doing it until they say yes, or until they, they opt, you know, they're until it's very clear that they're not interested. If they say yes, then we get them their offer and then they get into our sales cycle and hopefully they stay our client. Let's see. All right, my results. Um, I spent $50 and got 12,765 impressions. For three second video plays, I got 4,818. For three plays, 1,154. And this whole process was really interesting to me because 
I had never done it before. So watching the numbers was really interesting. And just, I don't know, it was, the whole process was just really cool for me to see. Okay, my biggest learnings and ahas. The first thing is that I really love that there's a process and a method to this. The six pillars are super brilliant and I love the way that they're taught in the class. Um, I'm also really shocked at how specific you can get with your target audience. Um, and then I really like the irresistible offer. It, it makes sense because every time I go to a website, I get this pop-up with an irresistible offer and now I understand why. <laughs> um, and then also I like learning about the customer journey map and the ad funnels. And in general, I've just really liked this process. I love the support that we have. Again, the curriculum was really good. We have a great instructor. Carlene was really helpful. And then having Julius as a coach, he was always accessible, super helpful, super nice. I really, really appreciate that. And that's been a really wonderful part of this journey. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have been able to learn, learn as much. What's next for our company? Well, we've never done marketing or digital marketing before. So I'm really excited that after this course, we're going to be able to implement some of the things that I learned in the course. And we're also going to be able to work with marketing companies to help, um, to help us grow our business. And that's it. I thank you so much for listening. I appreciate your support. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of graduation. Let's see. Wonderful job, and thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, I uh, wanted to give you guys a, a few numbers, and we're going to transition to some of our uh, amazing special guests. So let me just make sure I have the right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So Anna and Danilo, you're almost up. All right, so I wanted to first just share with you guys some of the numbers um, of the learning journey and the increases that you had. So you can see here, the blue line is where you started. This is self-reported data uh, on the learning objectives uh, and where you ended. And we mark uh, about a seven, uh, as mastery, basic mastery. And you can see that on almost all of these topics, none of them did you come in with mastery and the vast majority of them you're leaving with that basic mastery. So that is data that really shows just the increase in confidence and control you have in your marketing. Um, we also have another metric we use, which is we had you all take a test and your average starting score was 218. Your average ending score was 240. That's a 10% jump in just two months. That's a massive increase in knowledge. And uh, there were 19 campaigns run, uh, more than a thousand ad dollars spent, $7,500 in uh, sales generated for that's a 6.4x return on ad spend. Um, and we've historically seen uh, results on average about 29 to one. So you guys did amazing. You earned while you learned. You had a great ROI and congratulations for that. So um, we, uh, I wanted to welcome Anna to the stage who's gonna be speaking on behalf of Eileen Higgins, the Miami-Dade District 5 Commissioner. It was uh, Eileen and her team that brought us the Elevate D5 program of which the How to Find Customers Online course is part of their uh, amazing suite of services. Anna, welcome. Thank you so much, Dan, and thank you all for being a part of this program and congratulations on graduating. And I'm gonna uh, play a lot of favorites here, but special shout out to Claudia Gonzalez who's a part of the program and is a member of our staff. So we're really happy that she was able to participate. Um, as Dan mentioned, um, I work for Commissioner Eileen Higgins. I do legislation policy as, as well as I manage our small business portfolio. Uh, this program, our partnership with BizHack is under a program that we call Elevate District 5, uh, through which we are partnering with a lot of local and national organizations to offer our businesses the resources they need not only to, you know, survive in today's uh, post-COVID economy, but to thrive and, and succeed. Uh, we are very happy to have partnered with BizHack on our third cohort now. Every time we have spoken to a BizHack graduate, they have only had positive things to say about the program and about Dan and about all the instructors. So we know you got a lot of value from this program. We hope to continue seeing you in some of our other programs. I'm going to drop 
uh, all of my information on the chat if you are interested in staying connected and learning about other programs that we have with Elevate District 5 that we're going to be offering and that will be opening soon. Please feel free to reach out and congratulations and I hope to visit all of your businesses. Um, thank you so much. And, you know, a number of folks are going to be continuing on their learning journey with Elevate D5. Did you want to just give like a quick preview of some of the other opportunities that are available to them so that they can make good of it? And just so everybody knows, District 5 encompasses like Little Havana, um, Brickell, S South Beach, uh, and, um, and Flagler. Uh, downtown. So if you happen to be lucky enough to live in those areas and you are one of the Digital Marketers Edge participants, this is also relevant to you. Yeah, so the next program that we're going to be opening, it's going to be our mom and pop grant program in May. So, so through that, District 5 businesses can apply to up to $5,000 in grant money. Uh, it can be used for rent. It can be used, sorry, it can be used for rent, it can be used for marketing expenses, hopefully, uh, for uh, paying your staff to hiring any kind of professional services. Uh, we are also partnering with Partners for Self-Employment to launch a microloan program. We are really excited about this. We just did our soft launch a couple of ago, and we had other businesses that have participated in other uh, LAD5 programs participate and really give us feedback. And now we're in that process, so that's going to be launching over the next month. And that's going to be specifically for businesses that have completed already one or two Elevate District 5 programs. We also have our partnership with Prospera. This is twofold. We have a uh, part of it is the Financial Works Masterclass that we're offering. It's both English and Spanish. Um, I can offer more. I don't recall the dates right now, but that's going to be launching too. I think believe the next one is going to be in Spanish. And then we also have our Tech Academy with them that is more basic. And I think you guys are, are, already have like a lot of like tech uh, support and knowledge um so those are like the ones that we have going on right now but we're also uh looking to open other programs uh so if you have any feedback or if you would like if there's anything anything specifically that you would like to see from us feel free to reach out and let us know wonderful thank you for that um i'd like to now welcome up danilo vargas from the office of the miami-dade mayor he's going to talk to you about the strive 305 initiative uh which is another incredible resource that everybody who's based in Miami-Dade is eligible for. Uh, so uh, Danilo Vargas, welcome. And thank you for being here uh, the whole time. Thank you, Dan. And good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be with you. Uh, as Dan mentioned, my name is Danilo Vargas, and I am the Small Business Innovation Manager in the office of Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. And I do lead her Strive 305 Small Business Initiative that has a ton of support services for you. So uh, I hope that you'll connect with that. I'll put my information in the chat box. And what else can I say? I've, I've been blown away by all your amazing presentations. I am super, super happy for all of you and super proud of you too. Um, congratulations on your hard work and these amazing one-of-a-kind marketing programs that Dan and his team at BizHack have, have put together. And you know, you're graduating today, so you may think that this is in some way the end but I think nothing could be further from the truth. I think this is actually an exciting new beginning for all of you if you accept the challenge. And um, I want to tell you what I mean. I want to share a quick story. About 10 years ago, uh, I read a book by Seth Godin, and the title of the book was The Icarus Deception. And I want to share an idea uh, by telling you the story of that book. So in that book, Seth retells the Greek myth of Icarus, right? And his father, Daedalus, who were imprisoned on a turbo labyrinth on the island of Crete, right? Now, luckily, Daedalus was a brilliant inventor. Using his genius, he creates two sets of wings that he, had, that he and Icarus can use to escape by air. Uh, as they were putting on the wings, Daedalus turns to Icarus and gave him a warning. He told his son not to fly too high where the heat from the sun you know, could melt the wax and in the wings and cause Icarus to plunge to his death. And with that warning, they took off flying. And you guys already know what happened, right? Icarus didn't listen to his dad. He flew too high and fell to his death. But in the book, Seth highlights an interesting fact about the story that we tend to forget, right? And that's what I want to highlight for you guys. Daedalus also warned Icarus not to fly too low because the ocean spray would soak the wings and make them useless, right? So Seth makes the argument in that book that the danger, the danger for us today is not that we're going to choose to fly too high. The danger is that we'll choose to fly too low and not take advantage of all the knowledge and skills and opportunities and resources and possibilities 
that are in your grasp today. So think about it. This hack has given you wings, right? Mayor Daniela Levine Cava through her Strike 305 program has given you wings. Commissioner Eileen Higgins has given you wings and Strike 305 has given you wings. And so the question now is, what are you gonna do with them? And hopefully you are going to fly completely, you know, up in the air, straight up, nothing but up. And uh, again, I just wanna leave you with that message that you have an amazing opportunity. Your master marketers now are on your way to becoming that. And so you have a great opportunity, make the most use of it. And remember that at the, in the mayor's office, we are on your team and that you can con connect with us and all that we're doing on miamidate.gov forward slash stride 305. And uh, that's kind of my message, Dan. And with that, back to you. Oh, that was great. You know, and I, I really love that everybody um, kind of forgets the other lesson in the Icarus story, don't we? That's right. Yeah. Don't, don't fly too low. Great stuff, man. Thank you. You always add value. Yeah, Claudia, uh, I wanted to give you a chance to say a word. Uh, we have a women's networking event that's coming up. And uh, I wanted you to also just talk about how you've been able to use some of what you've learned to help you spread the word for Elevate D5. Claudia. Sure. So hi, I'm Claudia Gonzalez. I'm the communication specialist for the Office of Commissioner Eileen Higgins. Um, I'm so happy to be here and congratulate you all and myself on completing our BizHack course. I want to thank the instructors for, th for sharing their knowledge and wisdom with us. Your guidance has given us tools and strategies that we'll use to grow our businesses online. I also want to thank everyone um, in my class or my cohort for sharing their stories. It's been such a pleasure getting to know you and your businesses. I also want to thank the commissioner and the mayor for sponsoring these programs along with other Elevate 35 programs. The commissioner's commitment to supporting small businesses and entrepreneurs in our community is truly inspiring and we're fortunate for her leadership. Um, I also want to thank Anna Montez, my colleague, for making me take this class and pushing me out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm so grateful for this opportunity um, to learn and grow alongside such a supportive group of people. I also wanted to say happy International Women's Day and invite you all, well, all you women small business owners, um, to our Elevating Women in Business event this Friday. We would love to have you there. It's gonna be networking, breakfast, and business development. Um, I'll leave more information in the chat so you can check it out and register. And if you ever need anything from our office, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'll leave my email in the chat. And once again, congratulations to all of you and best of luck in all your future endeavors. Nice, it was like an Oscar <laughs> speech. Uh, very well done. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I did wanna, um, you know, share that 70% of BizHack graduates are um, uh, women, uh, and we're very proud of that number. And we really are proud to uh, create a safe space for women to learn technology. Um, unfortunately, it's not always that way, especially digital marketing, an industry filled with digital marketing bros. And we definitely don't want to be that. In fact, if you look at our um, instructor uh, core, we have more women than men, and that's exactly as it should be. Um, I uh, wanted to take a minute now to take a photo, right? Because I, I don't want uh, Anna or others to lose. So now is the moment. I do ask that you take off your, uh, put your put your face on the screen. Uh, uh, if you're able to, Jordan or Maria Laura or uh, Danielle, anyone uh, that can put on their video, please do. Um, and then uh, John Valencia, uh, uh, our amazing participant success manager is going to uh, take the photo. We're gonna do, our standard, uh, you know, grip and grin, and then we're going to do our crazy one. Uh, and just so you know, we never use the standard one, but we always take it just in case. Maybe one day we'll like use it before, after. Uh, all right. So John, uh, let us know. Jordan, if you can uh, pop on your screen, we'd love to have you in this. You might have had to step away, uh, but we're ready to go when you are. Yeah, sure. We're going to have two shots because actually a lot of people. So wait. Thank you, Marilis. All right, Jordan. Okay, so we're gonna have first shot. Serious, just like me. We try to center the, yeah, exactly. Look the at the hats. Like, this, you gotta center the hat. Okay, so let's go with the first one. I wanna go, okay, I'm waiting for Janetta. Go ahead, okay, one, two, three. Oh, okay, one, okay, wait, wait. Wait. Ah, oh, Jeff just appeared. Okay, give me a moment. There you are. We couldn't do it without you. 
You were that guy. <laughs> All right, let's go for the second one. Not take too much. Wait. Okay, let's go the second one. Again, serious, everybody. Let's go one, two, three. Got it. Okay. All right, now we do crazy, right? Yeah, now we're going to go with the crazy. You know, superstar. All right, we're ready. <laughs> and just that uh, wait. Give me a moment. I like how CC Iverson is not there. <laughs> Okay, let's go. All right. Danilo, we need you. Crazy ride. thing. One, two. Got it. Okay, one more. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see this one. Boom. Three. Okay, one more time. The last one. Wait. One, two, three. Got it. Got it. We should, we should take a video of that instead because that was insane. Yeah, yeah, of course. Strike a pose. Thanks, guys. That was awesome. This is uh, the next phase of the conversation right before we get to the um, the uh, the certificates is actually interesting because I wanted to share with you something that may, some of you may not be aware of, which is BizHack has been in the process of a reinvention uh, over the last couple of months. And we have reinvented ourselves from a, a pure training academy to a training academy that also offers what we call fractional CMO services. And fractional CMO services is part of a larger trend in small business in which you bring part-time people into your executive team. That, that concept the technical term for it is fractional leadership, fractional meaning a fraction of their time. Another way to think of it is a part-time outsourced head of, uh, and in this case, it would be marketing. And the Wall Street Journal just wrote this uh, report about how fractional CMOs is one of the fastest growing trends in business. And you may have noticed if you happen to visit our website in the past week, but this is the first time us kind of publicly announcing it, that we have relaunched our website, bizhack.com, as one that focuses on our fractional CMO services, our coaching, and our courses. And uh, this has been in the prog in process for, for more than half a year. We're very proud of the new site. We welcome you to go poke around, see if there are any broken links. Uh, but we're very excited by this next phase uh, of our work together. Um, and this gives you guys an opportunity to work with us in new and different ways. And so um, I'm gonna launch uh, a poll here um, and it has two questions and I would invite all of you to answer these questions because we're kind of trying to gather data about our ideal clients. You're all our ideal clients in terms of how, you, how much you know about this concept of fractional leadership and whether you have any fractional leaders inside your company. So. Um, you should see a poll now in front of you. Uh, there are two questions. The first one is, do you make use of any fractional leaders? These are part-time outsourced C-suite executives in any of your executive leadership roles. Typically, you'll see C-suite uh, fractional leadership in roles like law, finance, HR. Sometimes you have a fractional chief technology officer a fractional chief finance officer. Those are very typical, L less common, but also increasing uh, is the fractional chief marketing officer. So um, 10 folks have responded, keep going. I, we have 19 of you there, so please do respond. Um, the vast majority of you, more than two thirds, don't have any fractional leadership. Those of you that do, one of you has uh, in finance, um, three of you, four of you have in marketing, one of you in sales, and one of you has a fractional integrator. I know that's Betty's because they have a fractional integrator. That's like the head of operations. And then um, in terms of those of you who have um, considered it, uh, most of you, more than 54% of you have never considered uh, hiring a fractional CMO before. Thank you for that input, that's super helpful. So without further ado, Emily de Armas is gonna be the one who is going to give out the catcher's certificates. Uh, Emily, I'll go ahead and advance the slides for you uh, and you'll read the names. 
Perfect. I'm so proud of everybody in the catchers. Everyone did wonderful work. So our first certificate is for Amarilis Sanchez. Next is Beltran Fermin. Chinza Iverson, or CC. <laughs> Claudio Gonzalez. Consuelo Ciceri. Gabriel Vélez. Irene Fernandez, Janetta Mitchell, Laura Francetich, Leonie Valerius, Leonor Marcano, Maria Forrest. Wonderful. Um, Gabriel Velez, I, I love seeing you here. I'm excited to go and have Flanagan's dinner with you and your family soon. Let's make sure that Irene joins us so we can celebrate your guys uh, having now graduated from every course BizHack has ever offered, plus, plus, plus. Let's um, do it. <laughs> it's great to have you here. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my friend Gabriel. Um, now for the Marketing Masters, and it's going to be uh, Carleen. Uh, who's going to share this one? Um, and uh, Carlene, you're up. Sure. So first off, we have Alberto Escatel. Did I say it right? Albert. Yeah, <laughs> you, said you said it said perfectly. Right. <laughs> you got it. Oh, well, yay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we have um, Alex Bernstein. I know she's not here today, but she did an awesome job with architect codings. And then we have Annie Go, Bridget Batman, Candice uh, Padina, Danielle Ferrero, Esther McCain, McCant, Genevieve um, Harris, which is with Metro Mommy too, Hamza Dare. Jamie Swift, Joyce uh, Christensen, as I say, Lynette Jones, Lauren Buza, Lucas Gee Gallo, Megan Williams, Michelle Capello, yay, Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> Natalie Sam, and this is Toby. Uh, oh, uh, Rachel Bauer. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, great job, everybody. Congratulations again. Now we're on to what is perhaps the absolute pinnacle uh, uh, of the graduation celebration, which is the recognition of the Biz Hacker Award winners. This is BizHack's highest honor. We have created a course and a course experience that is intense and it's designed to get you to embrace new challenges, work your tails off, experiment and try new things and see failure as an opportunity to learn. And all of you have embraced that mentality, which we call the BizHacker mentality of experimentation, embracing the new, fishing with a spear rather than a net, patience and perseverance, the goal of never stopping learning, and the willingness to dare, dare to fail gloriously. And I want to recognize the amazing Amaryllis Sanchez, Maria Forrest, and Jamie Swift as our BizHacker Award winners. You join an incredible group uh, of more than two dozen past winners. Somebody said, you know, Dan, we should have like a big BizHacker award winner reunion. I couldn't agree more. So stay tuned for that. I also, we have an incredible group of new uh, certified instructors to, to celebrate. Uh, the way that BizHack works is we believe and learn by doing. And so whenever you have a new uh, coach or lead instructor who's doing it for the first semester, uh, they get a certificate uh, as a certified BizHack instructor at the end of that semester. And we had a heck of a lot of new instructors, a new crop, uh, and they did beautifully well. Uh, I want to recognize Emily DeArmas as a new certified marketing coach, Tamisha as a new certified marketing coach, uh, Tamisha Simone. 
uh, Carlene Scarlett as a new certified lead instructor, Jordan Sherman as a new certified marketing coach, Julius Harper as a new certified marketing coach, and our own marketing technician, BizHacks, Jonathan Valencia. Congratulations, you two are now a certified marketing coach. I just wanna tell you, this is the first time in his history of BizHack that the course admin, the participant success manager has been elevated to the marketing coach role. Any of you who've worked with John understand exactly why. He is a expert marketer who not only very ably administered the course, but also added tremendous value as a marketing technician and expert. Um, and so Jonathan, congratulations for making history uh, with us this today. So um, we wanted to talk about, a, a lot of you ask us like, okay, well now what, right? How do we like continue our learning journey together? In fact, the creation of fractional CMO services was directly a response to the question we always used to get, which is, okay, Dan, nice course, we enjoyed it, learned a thing or two, can you just do it for us? And it's interesting because what I realized is what doing it for you mean can mean is two things. One is it can mean doing becoming an agency and actually doing the hard implementation. And for lots of reasons, I just didn't wanna go into that business. It's just not a fit for what I wanted and I'm the owner and I get to do what I want, right? But then I realized that there was this other path, a path that I didn't knew, know existed, which is that fractional leadership path, which would allow us to help you guys take you to the next level without actually necessarily doing the work. And what we could do is we could set the strategy and then connect you and manage the doers so they do the work. In other words, become your partner on your executive team hiring the agency that does the work, hiring the staff members that do the work, and guess what? Training them up so they do better work for you. And that is the model that we're pursuing. It's kind of a combination of staffing, training, and consulting. And we thought we were kind of inventing something new. We then realized there's actually a, a fast-growing trend to do this kind of services, but nobody does it quite like us. Nobody does it with our specific training focus. We really are all about taking you know, back office Betty's or Swift sourcing and elevating Rachel and Jamie so that they can become eventually the CMOs of their company, right? And, and, and kind of working our way out of a job. And boy, does that feel like an exciting challenge to elevate these incredible women to kind of get to that level. And so that's what our fractional CMO services are all about. Um, we also are continuing to do uh, additional courses and coaching. We uh, are on the brink of announcing a new scholarship that we have with the Strive 305 program. That announcement should come any day. We even have the landing page that you're getting a sneak peek at. And then finally, we have a masterclass series uh, on AI in marketing and sales that is going to blow your mind. And I'm in the middle of building that right now. It starts next month. So uh, you'll see another poll that we put out. Um, this is no pressure whatsoever, but indicate for us what you're interested in, in terms of what I just described. And we'll follow up individually with each of you. Um, we obviously offer the fractional CMO services. That's really best for companies uh, a million dollars or more in revenue. Um, so if you're not at that level yet, that might not be the best fit. Uh, we do continued one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you loved your marketing coach and you just want more of Emily or you want more of Tamisha, we do make that available to you. We also can do a professional write-up of your business story where one of our trained writers will interview you uh, about your personal motivation for starting your business and then write it up with a professional writer's touch. Uh, we then have the course, of course, the Digital Marketers Edge Live course. For those of you in the HTF course that are like, yeah, I want to do this with Facebook and Instagram ads, uh, you should definitely consider signing up for the Digital Marketers Edge Live course. We have great scholarship dollars, but very limited budget, a uh, limited number of seats for that. And then we also offer a course in thought leadership. It's a recorded course that we built last year. Um, that's really about how to get noisy about your thought leadership focus. So if you're like me and you really want to put uh, your ideas out there in a more aggressive way, in a more systematic way, that's a great course for you to consider as well. We also have the masterclass series uh, on artificial intelligence 
and how it can be used in marketing and sales. Feel free to pick uh, any uh, of those that you like or none at all. Uh, so far, about six of you have responded. If you could keep um, uh, filling in the survey. So we have a few more of you. The other thing is we, our number one marketing channel um, is uh, referrals. And so if you know someone uh, who lives in Miami-Dade County that might benefit from the course that we do uh, or the scholarships that we offer, please let us know and we'll follow up with you. If you have someone on your team that you think could benefit as well, let us know. So here's a little bit more about the uh, masterclass series. So we're gonna explore how AI tools like ChatGPT can save you money and accelerate your growth. And we're going to bring in some of the top experts uh, in the industry to show you the tools and how to use them. We that's the Zoom poll. Um, I'll keep the poll open a few more minutes. Uh, we have about half of you have responded. Um, and uh, John, you ready for the next round of raffle? Thank you, raffles. Sure. All right, here we go. So we have Joyce Christensen from Christensen ESG for a one hour environmental management system cons consult. And the winner is? Candice Pineda. All right. We have Jamie Swift from Swift Sourcing, a $50 gift uh, card, card at Target. Or Esther McCann. Esther McCann. Uh, we have another Starbucks e-gift card. Uh, I hope we know you know you're on the hook for two of those uh, with Carlene Scarlett from Social Blessings. And the winner is Annie Gog. All right. Uh, we have Jay Sharp, uh, Julius Harper with a one-hour coaching session. And the winner is Alberto Escatel. Love it. Uh, by the way, Alberto, you can um, definitely invite your boss uh, and other mar marketing. Uh, folks onto that call uh, at Flippers. Uh, we have Lash Cream Bakery, uh, Janetta Mich Mitchell, and uh, that's 60% off of Lash Extensions. And the winner is? Maria Forrest. Nice. I was waiting for you to say a man's name. Uh, <laughs> and then we have another one hour coaching session from Julius. And the winner is? Lot of Francetic. I think uh, I think I might have messed up there. I went the wrong direction. We have a complimentary one-year membership with German American Business Chamber for Leoni, and the winner is. Uh, no, no, yeah, for Maria Laura Francetich. Yeah, that's what you actually win, Laura. Uh, sorry, I went the wrong direction. A social media audit from Tamisha Simone, and the winner is. Leoni Valerius. And then finally, this is super cool. Uh, John, are you ready to help with this? Uh, yeah, I want to share first my sound and then you confirm if it's working correctly. But yeah. All right. Sounds good. So we, we have the most talented instructors uh, that, you know, God's green earth has created. And one of them, his name was Ricardo Barris. And Ricardo, it turned out, uh, is a recording artist. Who knew, right? Like he did not reveal this to us uh, uh, for the longest time. Um, and he... Uh, his name, and you can find him on YouTube, uh, uh, iTunes, is Ricky Anthony. And he recorded, uh, as a surprise for us, you know, about 10, 12 cohorts ago, uh, a song. And we loved the song so much. It's called Hats Off to You. It's actually written for this program. Yep, I heard it. Um, and... Uh, it's the way we kick off, we, 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 we end all of our graduation celebrations. Um, and uh, we loved it so much, we actually bought the rights to it. And it's now part of, um, you know, the BizHack Academy uh, lore. So uh, without further ado, hats off to you by BizHack instructor, Ricky Anthony, AKA Ricardo Barris. you there. 
Thank you so much for all that you've done. Uh, and we're here for you to help you as you continue your learning journey. All of your marketing needs. Uh, thanks again to our instructors and to our sponsors. And we'll see you uh, in our next course or in our next meeting. Thanks again. Really appreciate Thank it. You. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Thank everybody. You. I know how hard you work. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Congratulations, everybody. Thank Great you. Job. Bye-bye. <laughs>